I'm on a mission to solve my grandfather's open cases and figure out who or what chased him into his grave. But it's not an easy task. I'll need your help. Curious. The murder of one Anthony Rollitz at an artist retreat. Well, sir, I will tell you what I saw. Me and my dog, Man Ray, we were walking past Anthony's studio and we heard what can only be described as time itself cracking open and crying out. So me and Man Ray, we hid behind a bush. We saw this lady in a gray dress. She was leaving. I don't really remember much else. It was a real crackerjack that was. I tell you what they say though, murder is good fuel the creative mind. I'm sorry, I just I have a lot of feeling I have to get out right now. Anthony was so creative. He had so much to give to the world. I was in my studio at the time. We had just gotten into a fight. It was stupid. But I was making it up to him by making these portraits of our love story in pastel. Funny. Maybe now he'll finally gain some notoriety. Hello? Anyone here? I'm very sorry. I have to go. Anthony and I spent countless hours together. In a completely professional manner, of course. It's a tragedy. The world's lost another artist, and I've lost a paycheck. Oils aren't cheap, you know. Sorry, humor in the face of sadness. Rest in peace, mon ami Perdue. Good riddance. One less bourgeoisie artist in the world. Why, why make art that just looks like what's around you? I could see it. Now the, the abstract, the otherworldly. Now this, this is what true art is. And all it should be. Okay, this is a lot of information. I should get some post-its. All right, let's go over the suspects. We know whoever killed Anthony was wearing a gray dress, and they used a palette knife. Deirdre was distraught over the death of her husband, but she'd also said they had an argument earlier. Was her comment about him finally being famous an offhand remark or something more? Marlene was lost in thought. Why would she murder someone who paid her to model? Deirdre did seem upset by her presence, though. Pierre had a true disdain for Anthony's work. But could that anger be translated into violence? And come to think of it, none of the suspects were wearing a gray dress. Was William even a credible witness? I don't even know anymore. Let's look back at William's studio. Something seems off to me. What's with all the colors on these paintings? They seem switched. Uh, of course, William's red-green colorblind. He didn't see a gray dress. His eyes couldn't tell if it was red or green. So that kind of eliminates Pierre. He also didn't seem super capable of murdering anyone. <coughs> so, was it Deirdre the wife in green or Marlene, the ingenue in red? Maybe Anthony was having an illicit affair and Deirdre didn't like that. The murder weapon, a palette knife. How ironic, a painter killed by his own tool. Now Deirdre worked mostly in chalk and pastel but Marlene was covered in paint. Marlene was in love with Anthony, but as she said, their relationship was merely professional. He refused her. That's why Deirdre called her argument stupid. She had nothing to fear in her marriage, except for Marlene's taste for revenge, it seems. Let's classify this case closed and also pretty damn sad. 